got some aluminum wire and I'm going to combine the aluminum wire with bailing wire as far as for the armature. This is the uh, size of the figure. It was the exact same size as the uh, seating, the sitting figure that's uh, over there. And, uh, well, you can't see it, but it's over there. Anyway, just uh, establishing how long I want to make this. Uh, actually, Just trying a different way of doing the armature, and uh, I think what I'll do is do it the uh, round area, the uh, rib cage from top to bottom, so it acts as a guide for me doing the rib cage. and then I'll go down to where the uh, leg bones start. Just uh, put a crease right there. Okay, you don't want to make it too thick or deep, the crease or the marking, because it is wire. I mean, aluminum wire after all, and it would break real easy. Okay. Now we'll go down to the bottom of the foot. I'm going to make it just a little longer. I always like a little longer uh, legs and the lower legs. And so, about right there. Yeah. There we go. Now, got to figure out how thick the base is going to be. Finding the center. There we go.
actually, you know what? I'm going to attach that right down here. You'll see why in a second. <laughs> it all comes down to the strength of your armature, and I'm trying to make my armature as strong as I can. Yes. Now, I'll take the wire and bring it up along the rib cage. And we'll tape it to the rib cage. down the same time. There we go. What I'm doing is just driving the screw just down next to the wire and that locks it into the hole. See, I'm not going to attach that because uh, it's going to stick down into the clay, which I'm going to start right now by applying. Since I've already established how big the rib cage is, I'm just uh, going to fill in. See, this wire is strong enough to hold the clay up. Now we'll just stick the uh, head wire down into the clay. I'd like to suggest something if you like my videos it would really be appreciated if you would click on the little like button down below the thumbs up so I appreciate that all right now just continue
Actually, I had to turn the fan on today for the first time. I'm just showing the hip bone. I don't really need to very much because the clothing is going to cover most of that. So it's one of those times when you don't have to worry as much about the uh, minutia or the uh, fine detail of uh, the anatomy because it's most of the anatomy is going to be covered with clothing. It's always nice to establish the uh, basics of the anatomy underneath the clothing though. Because you've got to have that. Just building up the uh, rib cage right now. The thorax. get too crazy with it. start with a profile of the face or the head. In other words, just do the side and then what I'll do is I'll fill in on either side of it. First I want to make sure it's the right size and it's not. So I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. There we go. And I think instead of a gun going through his belt. I think I'll just have his bow and, and arrows in a quiver hanging off his back and his hand is resting on the uh, bottom part of the, the quiver. I'll figure out which arm that'll be. I get to that arm. Now I'm establishing the width of the shoulders. Should be one head length from the center of the breastbone to the outside of the bicep. And the same there, so I need to go out a little bit on that one. There we go. All right, it started. So, and it's always good to get it started and then come back in and see how it looks to you. So I got the figure started. And I think it looks pretty good. Now let's just check, double check on the uh, proportions. Perfect. That's right where the fourth head should be. Four heads from the top to the groin. And then one, two, three, four. Four heads from the top of the femur to the, uh, to the bottom of the foot. And right in the middle is uh, where the knee comes in. So everything's fine. It should be seven and a half heads tall. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half. So it's right on the button. That's how you establish it. It's always nice to have the skeleton made out before you uh, actually do the sculpting.